Oh yeah, those are some photos from work. These are, uh, Guido likes to take presidential photographs of himself I at like work events. Take... For me. These are just for me. He was like, I got you a present. These are for you, babe. Wow. Okay, I mean... Look at these. We have a, we have a photographer at our events, and he asks to take photos of all of us for work, and I just give them to Emily. It's not like I this is have my, them commissioned. This is my favorite one. <laughs> that was from our gala. This is, a uh, Hi. You know, it's very kind of like... That is like high, isn't it? I like it. I think it's very funny. I'm Guido. Uh, this is Emily. Hi. Uh, we met when uh, I was living in London, doing a degree there, and uh, we moved to New York together two years ago? Just two, over two years Yeah, ago. over two years ago. I've been in this particular apartment for just over a year. Um, mm, much better than the last one. Last one was a shithole. Our first apartment in New York was a living nightmare. There was a rat that I didn't tell anyone about. I discovered a rat in our kitchen tell pretty me about early it. on. You told me about it maybe at least a year after leaving. Yeah, I was afraid that <laughs> had anyone known that we had a rat in our apartment. Um, she would move back to England. And we found this place, uh, and it's big and nice and has a lot of light, and we love it. Mm. We love the apartment itself. The love building the apartment. Yeah, became a construction site a month or two after we moved in, <laughs> and it's been that way ever since. But it, it's kind of like, I don't know, it sort of feels like our own little... Xanadu. Yeah, yeah, it just feels like our own little world in here, which I... I really appreciate. Emmy's world. It's Emmy and Guido's world. Emmy and Guido's you know what world. I mean? No, it's like a little no. It's like a little sanctuary. This is one of my illustrations. This is um, a portrait of me and one of my absolute ride or die best buds, Julia. Julia. I actually met Guido and Julia on the same on the same night, I was very lucky. So <laughs> I was uh, going out in London, this like, queer space in East London. Uh, I was going out with one of my friends, Bertie, who is a, you know. Tour de force. Yeah, he really is. He's like a crazy sort of force of nature, fabulous man. Mm -hmm. And um, he. Uh, I, thought uh, I, I thought he had asked me on a date, and I thought we were going on a date together. Turns out Bertie was not interested in me. He was not interested in you, yeah. but... Um, I'm not his type. Yeah, but it's okay, because we were interested in each other. We were so. interested in each other. Uh, so my relationship with Julia um, and Guido kind of like happened like in tandem, which was really special, because she's like still like one of my absolute best friends. Like she was, uh, you know, best... She was my best... Best man. woman? Best man. woman. Best person. Best person at yeah. our wedding. Yeah. And I'm going to be her maid of honor at yeah. her wedding next year. It's actually a single line drawing. So, as in, I did not take the pen away from the paper while I was drawing. You to know, moving to a new country is obviously like a really scary, weird experience. And you go through so many different, like, phases and emotions and this was just something I wanted to like draw things that were always like a constant in my life mm -hmm. so it just kind of made me I don't know just made me feel better when I was feeling shitty our second date uh Emily came over to my dorm room which I was sharing with like a common area with like six people and it was very crowded and very shitty and we made uh, like butternut squash and gnocchi uh, from scratch and it was this really like cute little romantic thing and I think you were freaking out though because you were worried about what you were gonna make when you had me over. Oh yeah, no, I was massively <laughs> freaking out because I was like, wait, he's making gnocchi from scratch? Like how am I supposed to... You know, I just felt like a lot of pressure to impress you. Because yeah, well, we went from one night stand yeah. To like it rustic was, Italian cooking. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, wait, I, and it was so like, you were so kind of, um, 
you know, like, mm, whatever. In the beginning, I couldn't even tell if it was... I honestly couldn't tell if it was a date, actually. That time you cooked it for yeah. me. But... <laughs> I think it was. I think it was. I think now we've established that it was. Yeah, in retrospect, it really was. I remember, like, we found this insane spice rack on the street mm. um, that was just completely, like... Someone had clearly just, like, put it outside, moved out, put it outside, and just, you know... And it had all these incredible spices. It was just so perfect. So we took it, and then, like, they were all just lined up on our kitchen counter. And, um, yeah, I just... I really loved those, and so I, I did a few drawings of them for Inktober. This one here, this is the... The, the real life inspo for this drawing. Uh, basically, I when me and Guido like first got together, I went to France, you know, on holiday with a few of my friends, and I wanted to bring him something back. So I got this nutmeg for him because he loves cooking so much, and he always said to me how he could never find like whole nutmeg. Um, so I saw it and I got it, brought it back for him, and so it's been with us for. But since the beginning of our relationship yeah he so obviously it was right at the beginning of our relationship he could have gone back to America we didn't know where it was going so he was like oh I'm probably gonna have to, you know give this back to you and I was like fuck, fuck you <laughs> that's, <Yeah. me." laughs> that's the nutmeg so this is our little art corner because yeah. Guido's got his music stuff this is all my art stuff this is where I make my all my illustrations Oh, you got your egg? Oh yeah, I stole this egg when I was studying abroad. Where'd you steal it from? University of Oxford. Oh shit. Yeah, what are you gonna do? So before we were talking about the glory where we met in London, um, that queer space on King. The bar, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, where we met. And and we set the bar very high with presents. I was never very good at presents. I, I still don't think I'm great at like getting people presents. It's it's a very some people have it, some people don't. It's a very specific I mean, like, skill. It's, yeah. Although one time I really knocked it out of the park. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just riding on the coattails of this one for a long time. So, <laughs> in the bar where we met, there was a neon sign, uh, "Cocktails and Dreams." And then for Christmas two years ago, yeah, it's when we first moved here. Yeah. It was like 2017. I had a reproduction of it made <laughs> uh, for Emily, and it made her cry when I gave it to her. It did. It was so thoughtful. So that was hung over the bar where we met. Um, so in this corner, this is um, a illustration of um, my wedding bouquet, and it was actually like ended up being um, the image on our wedding invite, wasn't mm. it? So that's but, really serendipitous how we ended up with that bouquet as well, because we decided that we needed to get married in order to keep our relationship going because yeah. I was going to get kicked out of the country because I was on a student visa. And so three weeks after we had the conversation that, well, really, we should be getting married if we're going to stay together, Yeah. Uh, we got married. So we didn't really have a lot of time to invite people or, like, plan anything. So we just got married, like, in the town hall in Islington in London. And as luck would have it, Emily's two best friends at the time... And still two best friends. Yes. <laughs> um, one is a professional photographer, mm. and the other is a professional florist. So yeah. we were sorted. Yeah. Um, so she made this bouquet for me, and it was so beautiful. It was all these dried flowers. I probably was... had the pockets, the uh, oh, the thingy. Yeah, yeah. We'll get that in a second. Yeah. She got that. And below that, that is a coaster from the much talked about bar that we met at called the Glory. So this is Bridge and Mary. Little baby, was that a crown or a baby Jesus there? It was a crown, I think. But that. Nah. Yeah, what is that? It's like the, you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I truly don't. Oh my god, I was brought. What was one Catholic. of her accessories? Uh, isn't it like a? I feel like it's like a sh like a. It's like a citrus juicer. A bottle of. 
let's say that. Bottle of myrrh. We won this at a great little drag bingo. Um, never won anything at a bingo before. This was the first thing I won. There she is. We love her. She's all my It's part of, our, part of our family now. Yeah, she. I've noticed us. that, like, everyone, anyone who comes around to our house, I've noticed they turn it on. Like, it's not on in the first place, and they, like, use the bathroom, and then they, I, I Maybe come we in should just leave it on. on. Maybe that's a hint. I think take. people like her. She's great. Yeah. I also think that our bathroom light is very, very bright. Ugly. It's ugly, you could say. This is very private. This is, this is our, our bathroom cabinet. This yeah. is showing all of our weaknesses, oh, this you is know? Like, this what do what Emily and Guido need to function? Emily Pepsi needs, Emily needs to put the... You really dry out our It's one of my worst habits, Or just the toothpaste can't Oh, look, these are your fucking... Shit. Scissors. Oh, these scissors are quite important, actually. These were another gift from my aunt and uncle. They're actually the first gift they ever gave me. Sorry. You know, just let me hold them. Yeah. <laughs> these are, yeah, I've had these for many years, and they're very dull, and they're actually bad at being scissors, but I hold on to them because they have deep sentimental value. Actually, I had a stick and One of my first tattoos was like a stick and poke on my leg of these scissors. It's kind of faded. Um, it's like my most faded tattoo. But... Yeah, these scissors are quite significant. Now I use them to trim my beard. Women's daily care. Mm. Um, for immune health, digestive health, and vaginal health. Very important. You say vaginal. That's because I'm British. Vaginal. Vaginal health. I can't say it. Sounds weird. Oh. I stole these from Whole Foods because yeah, I'm a little stole. shit. Yeah. Well, that was 25 bucks. found this on the street. I have a quick toothbrush because I listen to podcasts. That is like the lamest thing you own, I think. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that was that was the most humiliating Just get part a of this real whole experience. Brush. You what? This is the most humiliating part of this whole interview is admitting that I was a sucker for quip. You're a quip guy. I'm a quip guy. I'm a quipman. Quip guy. Yeah. If you're into this kind of emotional voyeurism, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring on that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Is that a song? Yeah. You haven't heard that? No. I don't know who it's by, but I like it. Smash the bell.